oil contamination on your micron sensor. As you can see, I have the high side, I have the low side. I have both vacuum pumps on and I'm actually reading 19 microns in the glass right here, but I only could hit 29.9. This is what happens when you get oil contamination on your micron sensor. You start showing funny readings that won't read right. So I even turned off, I went in reverse order. At first I turned off my couplings on my fittings so I can isolate the hoses. It would not pull down into the microns. Then you isolate one side. Sometimes it will, that means it's that hose. Then I turned off the other side. It still would not go down into microns. So now it just won't go. So that is oil contamination on the micron sensor and this thing needs to be cleaned out with um, some 99.9% .9 or whatever, the highest percentage uh, isotope alcohol that you could get a hold of. Push it in there. I made a video on that before about cleaning your micron sensor and I will have to go through that procedure because I now have oil contamination. I know how low this is going. It's a good thing if I'm at 19 microns there, I know I'm at least 500 microns at my gauge fitting, so that's good to go. Uh, now I'm gonna open them back up to the system and you'll see uh, this jump up to like 500 or so. Let's see. Oh no, it's staying there. Okay, I had it on for a while. This is the one I've been having that problem with. Um, so under pressure with the nitrogen, I wasn't gonna bore you with looking for a leak with me crawling underneath the car trying to hold my phone this this with another uh, hand at the same time looking for a leak so could not find it with this uh, I hit it with the bubbles while it was under night I couldn't use bubbles didn't find it ultrasonic did not find it vacuum leak decay did not find it pressure leak decay does not find it so that leaves you with charging it up with nitrogen running it and breaking out the leak detector but uh, right here all gauges, anything that has a micron sensor in it will eventually get oil contamination and it's simply just cleaned out by filling up your manifold with isotope uh, alcohol, shaking it up, blowing it out with some compressed nitrogen, repeat three or four times and you're good to go, throw it on the vacuum pump and all of a sudden you'll see your micron sensor work again. All right, catch you on the next video after I fill this back up with refrigerant and leak check it again.